EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Minnesota Vikings and the London Black Knights. Takes this about five yards deep. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. At their own 28-yard line. This is Aaron Jones. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Brings up second and 11 at the 27-yard line. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Love the idea, love the concept, but you got to leave a little room on the sideline so he can fade into it when he makes the catch. That was thrown too close to it for the receiver to make a play. Little trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. for Beckham and he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete so many times we see teams go on the road and want to lean on their running game but this crew just announced they're going to try and air it out and make hay downfield he was only asked to punt once in the victory last looking into the raindrops and he muffs it but fortunately he's able to recover his own fumble or that could have been trouble I know there's no magnet in the ball but sometimes for the punt returner after such a scramble it sort of feels that way doesn't it he has it he loses it somehow the ball finds its way back to him but atone for his sin and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now First and ten, Mayfield. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And they do finally get him, but he makes it all the way to the six. That's good. And they rattle off a big one. 43 yards. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. It would be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. On second and goal, they'll give it to him again. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. And now Mayfield on the bootleg. He'll buy some time right. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Ronald Darby. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage. But instead, he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw it right into it for an interception. 
Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball to their territory. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves them with a second and three. Three. Shotgun, it's Love. He'll let it go deep. He's got a man complete. The 40, 20, 10, touchdown, Vikings. Odell Beckham, an even 90 yards. And the Vikings have taken a first quarter lead. Well, they were back in the shadows of their own goal post, and that flipped quickly. So much for playing it safe. I mean, a conservative, easy call. Run the football, take care of it, create some space, pump the ball away. But no, let's throw it. And sometimes a defense's aggressiveness is used against them because when you've got people backed up, your natural inclination is to try and really force them back. And sometimes they get burned that way. And they got burned there. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. His guys take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? 54 On second and 15 now, Mayfield firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. It's interesting because when I'm watching college football and I'm evaluating guys for the draft now, my list of fullbacks, pure fullbacks, it's a very short list. I'm probably evaluating more punters and kickers now than I am fullbacks. But it doesn't matter what you call the position, it's who you put there. And there we saw completion. Four. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. C.J. Mosley, the linebacker, making sure his presence is felt. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Another try after the first down sack. Mayfield. And he's got room. And nearly a touchdown as they finally stop him down at about the three-yard line. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you, and you know he's going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end zone. But if they don't score now, if they don't get a touchdown, he won't just get teased. They'll be glaring at him. How'd you not score? And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. Well, I know a defensive coordinator is going to be pretty excited by what he just saw there. Great knockback by their front. And now with the ball where it is, I would expect to see the offense throw the ball on second and third down here. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Come on. Come on. 
Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. If you're going to throw it, something quick, get it out of your hands in a hurry. Here's Jones. No gain on the play, and what to do now on fourth and goal. He's forced out of bounds. Well, if this defense can hold him to a field goal here, what a win that would be. Not just a win on the possession, but psychologically take over the ball game. But this started with first and goal, so they were in four-down territory right from the beginning. I say you finish it off and go for the touchdown. Now Chandler Catanzaro for the field goal here. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And Catanzaro's kick is right through. And the lead moves to 10 zip. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. It's what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. 25-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball and try to get things settled down a little bit. That one good for 33 and a first. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now a handoff looking right. He's got the first down here inside the 30. Get off the field. And all the way in for the touchdown. A great effort there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And his guys are able to make this a close game again. Well, earlier in the week when they had their scouting report meeting, this was the explosiveness that they talked about trying to contain. They were concerned about it all week, yet he still did it to them. Wonder how that's going to carry over the rest of the game. The point after threw the raindrops up and good. And that'll cut it to three at 10-7. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Taken in the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. And Brandon, the passing game for both of these teams is going to be affected as the game goes along. It's not looking like the rain's going to let up anytime soon. So that might mean a few more wobbly passes and wide receiver slips. And this one winds up getting intercepted. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. Following the interception, Mayfield. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. 
Working out of the gun. Mayfield looking left side, and it's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. Oh, none of that. 10 7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. 10. Black Knight 7. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. And that is incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Complete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Titans A on Roy 33. You got three, you got three, three down, three down. 31. King, King, King. From the gun, Mayfield. Forced out to his left. And it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. A pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. Mitch. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now on to punt. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. It's a 40-yard punt, but they lose yardage on the return. And the Vikings will be backed up deep to begin their drive as they take over first and 10. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happens. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. The pro bowler Odell Beckham, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. Complete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Love. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 22. So they will set up shop. Excellent field position in the red zone at the 19-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. Running out of the wild. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Well, he's broken off some big-time runs here in this first half. Yeah, and let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work. But when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises. And he's running with terrific ability right now. Now they go screen. It's complete. 
And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. At the nine-yard line. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. And goal to go. play so no help there and now fourth and goal this situation in the fourth quarter you go for it but here take the points if you go for it here and don't get it you and I are missing our plane and we're going to the post game press conference to hear him justify it because the next thing we'll see is the owner walking in announcing a firing there is no way he goes for it here get the field goal it's the first half of the game you've got time to make it up all level now at 10 apiece as the kicks away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. At their own 23-yard line. Vikings now to start their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Second and six at the 27-yard line. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. 24-yard line. Fake love. This is caught. It's Cooks. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. First down, Vikings. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. Jones, the ball carrier. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against them. And seven. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Working out of the gun. Love. 
He'll fire one deep for Westbrook. That's going to be caught. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Minnesota. D.D. Westbrook, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Vikings have taken the lead. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. The score, Vikings 17, Black Knights 10. Now Captain Zero after the touchdown to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. Now they try the right side here. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. He's tackled at the They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Brings up second to throw, Mayfield. Going right side here, and that's complete. And all the way down to the 29. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. The completion good. This is Eric Ebron. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. It's a big play, yet amazingly, because of how far they had to go, they're still looking at a second down here. taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Third and short yardage, Mayfield. And it's caught. Touchdown. Eric Ebron, his third touchdown now on the year. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. And that was a beautiful ball right there as he waited for his tight end to come uncovered in the end zone to so give him points for patience as well. Delivered it right where it needed to be for six points. And he gets it to go and we're all even, 17 apiece. That ties the game at 17. Mitch Wisnowski set to kick off. 17 17 the score. All even to this point as the kicks away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Five yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. He's letting it fly for Cooks. It's caught inside the 25. 
Touchdown, Vikings! Complete to Brandon Cooks with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Vikings get the quick strike touchdown. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key is calling it in the right situation. Knowing when it exists to go to it, they did exactly that. They've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. Just looking down at the sideline now, their defense is like, man, can you have strung that out just a few <laughs> plays? Give us a break. Back out there. Hey, man, give that water break and get on out there and play. The 25-yard line. His guys take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. Flushed out right. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Mayfield looks to throw. And Mayfield again with the interception. His third. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because oh, here we are in December. Giving. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake, after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. Following the interception, Love. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And that is intercepted. Or was it? Wait, they'll say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. Second and 10 now from the 27. They just do get the playoff. Love going to throw it. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. They've got his man complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Love, they go play action now. Looking long for Westbrook, and he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. D.D. Westbrook. Westbrook in the final seconds of the first half, and the Vikings are going to add on to their lead.
And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it. That can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. Fielded in the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee, and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll move the chains. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Let's go, Pete. Final play of the half, Mayfield eluding the pressure right. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we are at halftime here on Christmas Eve. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida, and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. As they say here in London, all to play for as we are back underway in the second half. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Mayfield on first down. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. A first down throw from Mayfield to Shepard, complete over the middle. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. First down, Mayfield. Over the middle here to Brown. And he is down deep into Minnesota territory. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. Still all sorts of time left in this game, and you'd like to be able to say take it one play at a time. But the truth is they're probably going to have to hit on a few big plays in the passing game to close this gap, and that's a good start right there. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get four there, down to about the 12-yard line. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Now a handoff here to his running back. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Mayfield from the gun on third down. This is caught, and he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. One-yard line. Hey, hey, watch it, watch it. They'll try to run this one in, and he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. 
A great play there with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And his guys have made this a one-score game now. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. And his kick is good. For Vikings 31, Black Knights 24. Set to kick off. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, Second get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Second and six, just inside the 30. They'll go again to Jones. And he'll take this forward for two, maybe three. But we do have a flag down, and they're already marching backward. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Now a whistle and I think a penalty here for a delay. No, they're going to say timeout. They did get the timeout in time. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. play on second down. Love fires that quickly outside. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Minnesota. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and ten. They'll run on first down. 
Jones. And that one goes for about six as he's taken Aaron down Jones just shy of the 45. But Running Lane's read a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. The last run got six, now second and four. Again, it's Jones. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. A gain of three, second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. it up first down and much more here for jones and down to the 27 yard line it's a pickup of 17 and a first down well you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace this is ball control football sustained runs taking their time and making it work tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Second down and seven. Now the toss to Jones, running right. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. here in week 16 you are watching the nfl on ea sports 24 so first and goal six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up He takes it from the nine to the eight. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them.
Here's second and goal, operating from the eight-yard line. They'll try again with Jones. Down at the two. Broke through first contact, but ultimately stopped shy of the goal line. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. their lead had the option there read it perfectly and an easy little touchdown toss and it has to be a sharp throw too because of where they are on the field the extra traffic things are condensed near the goal line good route by the receiver as well extra point up and good by Catanzaro and the lead now up to 14 Now Captain Zero after the touchdown to kick it away. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. <laughs> Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the ball. We'll see if they can disrupt it here. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. He gets it to Brown. Good play. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. and 10 Mayfield looking deep here for Ebron that's caught inside the 20 and all the way inside the 15 before they drop it it's a gain of 34 defensively here you've got the cushion but back to back pretty big pass plays there bend but don't break but are they bending too much I think that they are to me it'd be like playing basketball and you put up a token press make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat and he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, he can't hold them. Going to the air again with Mayfield. 
Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Number 37. A good first down call as the screen play gets him nine. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Throwing again on second down. Mayfield. That's going to be caught at the 10 yard line. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. It's a gain of 7, and that'll make it third down. And 4. And again, it's Mayfield. And it's caught. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. Seven yards on the pickup, and he will take this one in for a touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And his guys are able to make this a close game again. So he's in for his third score of the game, and the defense probably saying, man, we, we don't want to see this guy for a long time. It's bad enough when anyone scores a touchdown against you, but for one person to get three, it almost sets him apart from the rest of the game, and no one likes to see any of those players on a pedestal, not from the defensive point of view. Gonzalez good on the extra point, and now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Wisnowski set to kick off. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Taken in the end zone. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all of their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, I and mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Now a second down throw for Love here. And he will be hit from behind and run over. Wow. Justin Houston in there to get him. And that is sack number six now for him on the year. Third and 13. a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Out of the shotgun. It's love. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off near the 29. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. At the 28-yard line. Reception, Mayfield, his throw caught right around the six. And he gets it all the way down inside the 
10 and mark him at the 5. 23 yards on the play. At the 5 yard line. So it's our home team here in possession of the football as we come back. They come up on a first and goal with this game still hanging in the balance. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. Give him three on the game there, second and goal. Well, they made the play there, and I'll guarantee you their coaches and the other players are screaming at them about their pride. Come on, guys. He's already gotten in three times. You can't give up a fourth one. And on that play, they were able to make the stop. And you knew they were going to go to him to try to get that fourth. And why wouldn't they? It's not just getting the fourth. He's the hot hand, so to speak, right? The hot feet in this situation. And he'll take Take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination that when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Well, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch tomorrow. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good, and we are tied here in the fourth quarter. To kick off. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. Vikings now to start their next drive. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play, but if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. Last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. On play action. Love to throw. Over the middle to Beckham. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. time to get a delay of game penalty there. Not that there's a good time, but that makes it third and six. And boy, again, they won't get this off in time. So that'll back them up five.
after the delay. They're backed up even further for third and long. Love. Open man is Westbrook complete. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 50 catches for him now on the year, and he's got a first down. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Love looking to throw. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. They'll get 13 yards for the second play in a row. Now that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. Wisnowski set to kick off. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And this carries into the end zone. And they will play it safe here and bring this one out to the 25. now to start their next drive. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now. The ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. As we said, they control their own destiny now. scrimmage just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever second and ten that was a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass they saw it coming converged on him before he could get much out of it a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. Now, 
In need of a third and ten conversion to keep this opening drive of OT alive. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. He can run for it, and he will. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. So he got nine yards that time, but he needed ten, and it brings up fourth and one. Fourth down. A big call here in overtime. They're going for it on fourth down. They'll try and run the option. Gets it out quickly here to the left flat. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Well, I'm going to give this one to Jones. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. He was the big nose tackle, Danny Shelton, there to swallow him up. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They'll keep it on the ground. Jones. And no room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. But now they're at a spot that every team tells us when we have our production meetings they don't want to be in third and long. And that's because those back-to-back -back running plays just didn't accomplish a whole lot. Two minutes left in this overtime session and still all tied. Coming up on a third and nine. Opening drive of overtime as they look to convert. Love from the gun. Oh, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. A costly mistake here at OT. And you know what they say when you throw an interception like that in overtime? You don't usually get a chance to throw a second one. I mean, I'm not sure the analytics on it. Let's ask Marvin, our statistician, to, to ring that down for us. That's typically how coaches and teams feel about it. If you throw one, you likely cost yourself the game. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. The 20. Woo, yeah. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. Our final score, a part of a great game that we got to see. In this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters <laughs> what you wanted, but how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game.
So for the home team here, the win moves them to 8-7 and seven now on the year. And now it's off to Heathrow as they get set to fly back to the U.S. in a couple hours. Meanwhile, for Minnesota, it's a bad time of year to take a loss like this as they drop to 10-5. and five. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to KC to take on the Chiefs. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.